Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I have a new sleeping bag that I needed because I was going hunting in the Arctic and I wanted to make sure that the sleeping bag I had would keep me warm in a very cold environment. So I purchased the Ledge Outdoors River sleeping bag that is rated to minus 20 and I have to tell you I love it. It's very poofy once you shake it all out. Always make sure when you're getting your sleeping bag out, you shake it out and let it air out and puff back up at least one hour before you get in them. It has a nice long zipper. I did have a little bit of trouble with the zipper getting stuck. It would get tangled up in the lining and that was the only problem that I had for the whole time I was away. And you can see it zips way, way down and then it has a lot of nice, warm, snuggy features. It has a sleeping hood. It actually comes up over your head so you can put your pillow in there and if you don't want it, just kind of tuck it back down like that and then you have more of like a pillow. So that was very handy. It has an, um, a neckline. It has a nice big extra Velcroed puffy collar which I did not need to hook it together but I noticed that it was very comfortable because it has a strip that folds over and so it never was scratchy on your face. If you don't want to use that it didn't scratch you and if you do want to use it that has that extra uh, thing you just pull it open velcro it together and then it even has a drawstring so you can pull it up as tight as you want with one of these, what are these called, barrel lock or something. So it has a drawstring to get it all secure around you if that's what you need. And I didn't. And uh, I stayed so warm I didn't need to worry about any of that. It has a very, it's nice and long, it's like 83 inches or something, 81 inches long. And then it has a big round footwell so that your feet aren't just squished down into like a pillowcase type thing. It has a nice big area for your feet. The zipper goes all the way down to not quite the end. So this part never has any air leaking into it because of a zipper. It weighs seven pounds when it's all rolled up and it was absolutely very, very comfortable. I love it. It all has like a nylon type thing and um, it's almost the same fabric on the inside but when you're sleeping in a very cold environment you're wearing like your long underwear or something so it's not like you're laying here in just your underwear and that would probably be uncomfortable but it's cold when you use something like this anyway it has a nice big loft it's very comfy and nice and I actually almost got too warm and what I did was just roll it so that the zipper was like right down the middle and I just zipped it so that I had it kind of evenly open and it was still very comfortable even with the hood part on it. It didn't matter. So I was very happy about this. I like this very much. It kept me warm in an extremely cold environment that uh, it was fun but it was <laughs> Cold. Anyway, it comes with a nice big stuff sack. And always with a stuff sack, this is the joy of not having to roll it up. You just make sure you release all the straps and you just stuff it until it's all inside. And there you go. You don't have to even roll it up. You just need to stuff it. You're ready to put away your Ledge River minus 20 sleeping bag. It comes with its own stuff sack. And you can see it keeps it uncompressed, which is the way you want to store a quality sleeping bag. You don't want to compress it because then the fibers can become damaged. And it has a flap that comes over it with a cord with uh, one of those, uh, those clip things. So that will keep the dust out of it. Then when you get ready to use it, this bag is a very handy compression bag. It has clips that come across the top in two directions. You just snap them together. Then you pull on the cords and press the air out. 
and you do this in both directions. Pull and press. And get it down squished as often or as much as you can. And then once you get those squished down, there are four more straps around the body and you pull up on those. And you just keep pulling and pressing. And you keep pulling and pressing until you squeeze all the air out of it and you get it compressed down where you want and then it's ready to go for your travel. It goes down smaller than that, but you get the idea. So if you're looking for a very quality, well-made, warm and sturdy bag for very cold weather, look for the Ledge River Minus 20 bag. I took this hunt, uh, on a hunting trip in the Arctic and it kept me warm when the weather was extremely cold. I found it durable, comfortable, and it met my needs very nicely. So I'm very glad that I own this bag, and it was reasonably priced. So make sure that you have um, a sleeping bag that meets the needs of the area where you're going. There's nothing worse than being freezing cold and waiting for the morning to come. Please subscribe to Alaska Granny, and have a wonderful day.